Uh, welcome, everyone. Uh, <laughs> I was wondering where this is going. Thank you all for being here. We've got some great awards that we're going to be giving out tonight. It's so important to preserve our history and to be able to celebrate it as well. And so we're going to be doing that here this evening. As we do, though, I would like to recognize, and by the way, my name is Mark Turner. I'm the mayor of Morgan Hill and your MC this evening. And I would like to, thank you. Thank you. I'd also like to introduce another mayor, the mayor of San Jose, who is here this evening. Would you please give a warm round of applause to Mayor Matt Mahan. Thanks, Mayor Turner. How are you all doing? Good. Hey, this is a great turnout and a beautiful evening. Thanks to Bill Schro for hosting us here this evening in History Park. Where's Bill? I saw him there. There he is. Thank you so much for all the work you do to preserve our history here, Bill. Deserves a big round of applause. And I also want to thank Paul Bam and Terry Johnson for the work that they're doing and just recognizing all of you out here doing the important work of preserving and celebrating our history and helping to inspire the next generation by looking back and learning lessons. You know, I talk a lot about change and all the things we need to do going forward. But I have to admit, my heart is really in history. That was always my favorite subject in school. I loved learning about where we came from. And it isn't just about that old adage that you know those who, who fail to learn from their history are doomed to repeat it. To me, it's also about a sense of belonging. You know, We live in a world where everything's about efficiency. Everything's become very, very modularized, very cookie cutter, very homogenous. And it's nice to be from a place that has a story. And, and to be able to see that and walk around and, 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 and connect with those stories. My mom's side of the family came here four generations ago from Genoa and worked in the apricot orchards and in the canneries and really growing up on those, on those stories gave me a sense of connection to San Jose, a city that at the time I didn't even live in. I was living in Watsonville on the other side of the hill, but I always grew up on stories of San Jose's history and it gave me a, a real sense of connection. In fact, even when I went off to college, I was always talking about wanting to come back to San Jose and felt a real special connection to our city. And so that's really, to me, what this is about. It's that sense of community, of belonging, of, of, of having, a, having a tribe, having a community you're part of. And it's about our collective story of where we've been, what makes us who we are, and where we're going together that's so special about history. So I just, thanks for having me, and, and thanks again to everybody. Congratulations to all the awardees. Have a good evening. Thank you, Mayor Mahan. I do like to uh, announce, I think we have a few other dignitaries here we'd like to make mention of. County Supervisor Cindy Chavez is here, and I think, Supervisor, you're going to say a few words? Yay, Cindy Chavez! If you have a few words to say, we'll uh, just give you a round of applause as she makes her way up. We'll have to turn up the front of the stage. It's, no, no. Well, good evening, everyone. Good evening. I am so honored to be with all of you today and I'm thrilled that so many of you are being acknowledged. You know, one of the things that's so beautiful about San Jose, Santa Clara County is how many stories there are. Oh yeah. And I want to thank each and every one of you for protecting and preserving those stories in a million different ways. And really I came tonight, I, I know we um, have some small certificates for you, but really truly the reason I came tonight was say thank you. Because what you preserve and protect allows the next generation to learn, to appreciate, to feel connected to the community that we've grown to love so much. So thank you very, very much for letting me be with you. And I'm so excited to see all of the preservation organizations working together because preserving history is hard work, as each of you know. And if we don't do it as, as, if we don't do it as a team, we're not gonna be nearly as effective. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a great night. Good evening, I'm State Senator Dave Cortese, and I too am here to, I think first and foremost, congratulate uh, the awardees. What a list of, of honorees tonight. Um, I got to see that uh, when the invitation came around, and um, one, it's great to recognize uh, so many of those names, I think each and every one of them, and, and the other is uh, to realize 
as you think and as you reflect, and I think we'll have an opportunity to do that this evening as those awards are given out, um, how they've touched this community, especially in the context of preservation, which is so important. Uh, I think it's important. I guess I'm a little biased. Uh, some people, you know, say that won't get you much anymore. Um, being around for three generations or, or, or talking about or remembering what happened generations ago here. Um, but I think it does more than that. I think it's important. And I think unless you know um, where you've been, where you came from, um, you're not really going to chart the course going forward. You're not really going to know where your North Star is as a community. I mean, when people who don't know the history of this valley, they ask about it, right? I mean, how many times do you get that question? Well, what was it really like? What was it really like? It's such a joy to share what we know. Um, but it also tells you something. They wouldn't be asking uh, if it wasn't important, mm -hmm. if it didn't mean something at a deeper level. Uh, so keep up the good work. Um, thank you all. And um, I look forward uh, to the next big event. Great turnout. Great San Jose turnout. Thank you. Okay, we're now going to introduce uh, History, History San Jose President and CEO Bill Schro to welcome you and to say a few words. Bill? I would also like to welcome you to the second annual Santa Clara County Preservation Alliance Awards. As Terry Johnson, our chairman, said in his welcome letter, we are better together. This event is about networking, sharing, and collaborating with other like-minded preservation and historical groups, and honoring some folks for their contributions to our shared cultural heritage. At this time, I would like to introduce our Preservation Alliance team. Would the team stand up if they're sitting down or where, raise their hand or wave? <laughs> so uh, we have Terry Johnson, who is the president of the Santa Clara, I'm sorry, the new Almaden Quick uh, Silver County Park and Vice Chair of the Santa Clara County Historical Heritage Commission. We have Bill Hare. There he is. He is a, a commissioner on the Santa Clara County Historical Heritage Commission, as well as the president of the Milpitas Historical Society. Uh, Gail Frank. Where's Gail? There she is. She is a, um, on the Preservation Action Council, as well as a member of the California Pioneers of Santa Clara County. We have Annette Stransky. Is Annette here? There she is in the back. For five decades of preserving and sharing New Almaden mining history. Presenting the award is Terry Johnson. Well, hello again, and again, welcome to our second annual Preservation Awards Night. Uh, one thing that we're doing a little bit different this year that we didn't have last year was is this wonderful PowerPoint that our very own uh, steering committee member uh, Bill Hare put together. So thank you, Bill. So I'm chair of the um, Santa Clara County Preservation Alliance I'm, uh, steering committee, as well as president of, of NACWAPA. It's easier to say that than New Almaden Quicksilver County Park Association. And I'm here to honor Mike Cox for nearly 50 years of preservation work in, the, in and around the community of New Almaden. I mentioned in our recent Nakwapa newsletter, which by the way you can sign up for at our table over here, <laughs> that the best part of being president is getting to know so many talented, knowledgeable, dedicated people who have served and led Nakwapa for many, many years, and Mike Cox is such a person. Whether volunteering at Connie Perham's original New Almaden Mining Museum while still in high school, or knowing many of the Quicksilver miners and local historians, or exploring the vast network of mine tunnels with his brother Charlie, or because he knew those tunnels so well, later helping to close those tunnels when the county purchased the land, or helping found Nakapa 40 years ago, or leading countless projects and, and education efforts. Mike is ar arguably the most knowledgeable person alive about New Almaden history. So without further fanfare, it's my pleasure to award Mike, the Distinguished Preservation Service Award for nearly half a century of Santa Clara County historical preservation. Well, thanks, everybody. I, 
I'm pretty humbled to be here among so many people who have done so much more than I'll ever do, but I'm, I'm very grateful to Terry Johnson and Nakapa and Skupka, I don't know, <laughs> Santa Clara County Preservation Alliance, and all the sponsors and all the great people in this great keepsake, you know, who have labored for the sake of, of heritage and history. Uh, the names and the deeds of the people that have done so much for New Almaden would, would fill volumes. Um, in, I'm not going to name them, but in my experience, uh, there are some accomplishments of so many people that speak for themselves. The incredible open space County Park, a world-class mercury mining interpretive center, one of only five in the world, the past perfect online county archives, and the beautiful New Almaden uh, Hacienda Village where so many of the homes have been lovingly restored. This place too is, is no less a, a shining star, History San Jose. Um, I said I wouldn't name names, but I really need to mention the late Constance Parham and Kitty Monahan. They really gave me my start. And my brother Charles. Yeah. Connie, of course, founded the New Almaden Museum as a private museum in 1949, 1950. Wow. And it was Kitty and Santa Clara County planner Don Whedon that pulled us together to make the Park Association. Mm -hmm. Terry has taken over the reins as a president, and we couldn't have a better person take over for Kitty Monahan. It's fantastic. And those people really gave me a, a solid basis for 48 years of, of work. Um, my brother Charles has been my constant companion, driving me around when in high school when I didn't have a car in his 58 Thunderbird. <laughs> We'd be cruising. <laughs> but, you know, good providence happens, and it's all what I learned from others and meeting kind people and dedicated people. And the latest is a chance meeting with Ramon and La Raza Historical Society. And, uh, La Raza is very interested in a, in a worthy new, Nuevo Almaden uh, ancestry project and hopefully this project will bear fruit. It, it's going to be difficult, but it'll yield a more complete understanding of the early family lines and associations that streamed into New Almaden and then streamed out of New Almaden as the mines declined. It really was a constellation and an explosion of families and so many in the valley trace their heritage to Nuevo Almaden and they're not aware of it. So if you can, please support it. <coughs> In closing, Connie Parham used to tell me, we bring nothing when we come, we take nothing when we go, we're just caretakers. Uh, but of course, caretakers leave work and contribution and recognizing those works and contributions is what these awards are all about. It's a wonderful thing. And thank you all so very much.